Hi, this is Mrs. Hickson. Welcome to the screencast showing you how to set up your self-check te technique evaluation that begins in week two. Um, I'm on the lesson screen and as you can see we're going to click into unit one, learning the keyboard. And on this, it talks about we need to do a technique self-check week two. You're going to see a Google Doc. Remember, with Google Docs, you must be signed into Google or Gmail to be able to access this document. So make sure you're on Gmail. Um, I'm on Gmail already. I already signed in over here. So when I click through this, I'll be able to access it. You're also going to want to read the information about how to submit a grade up here. I will demonstrate that in a moment. Click on that. Click on the link. And you're going to find the self-check. This is a way for you to have a parent, a friend, or someone look over your shoulder and help you be a little bit more, um, have someone kind of help you be accountable for your technique since I'm not there to watch you. Um, on this technique um, item, you're going to create, create your own. You're going to click on File, Make a Copy, and you're going to call it your last name. And you're going to say OK. You're going to go over into Share, which is over, move my information over just a little bit. You're going to click on Share. Right now it says Private. I'm going to change this to anyone with the link can see it because you're going to put that in your grading center. Now we have it ready to go. Let's take a look at this for a moment. We have week two where we are. The person is going to be looking over your shoulder. Now what are you typing? You're typing on edutyping. I'm going to go ahead and show you. We have edutyping right here. You can go wherever you're currently on. Say for example, I'm going to start on 1.2. You're going to have the person standing behind you. You're going to need to kind of let them see the technique video or explain to them what you need to be doing. And as you type, they're watching they're watching for that you're not looking down to find the key locations. They're making sure that you're properly keystroking. Are you using the proper keys? Are you reaching with the proper finger? You're sitting flat on the floor. You're sitting up straight. You're positioned properly at the keyboard. Your wrists are level. You're using your time wisely. And I want you to go ahead and tell us what lesson you're on on edutyping right in this area. Plus, Right down here, the person's initials who actually evalu evaluated you. Now remember, what's really important about this is that when you're doing proper positions, I do, I, you need to be sitting at a desk or a chair, sitting up straight. Don't be laying on your tummy on your bed having someone evaluate you. You're not going to have very good technique there. So try to sit at a table or sit at somewhere where it's set up properly for you. Once you've finished going in here and changing the information, S for satisfactory, S, mm, you need a little help, and NI, wow, boy, you really need to pay attention when you're in this class. You're going to write those there, and you're going to put again that, in, that item. Now when you're done, you're going to submit it for the Grade Center, and I'll show you how to do that really quick. We're going to go into Blackboard, and we were there just a moment ago. We're going to go on to that assignment okay it says you're going to go in here and you're going to click on the um, URL that you had you're going to copy and paste the URL and place it in the blackboard Box number two it says type submission. 
I'm going to copy and paste it and I'm going to go ahead and submit it and that way when Mrs. Hickson comes in to look at it she can click on that. Do keep in mind however I am checking on the reports for edutyping and if you tell me you're on lesson 7.3 you need to be on lesson 7.3 okay um, you need to be reporting um, appropriately where you are um, because my reports do specifically tell me where you are and that's how you submit the assignment.